Skyrim is a double-edged game. At the one hand, it is still one of the most deep, endless journeys of all times. At the same time, many of its components were dated even at the year of the release back in 2011. And as for today, many vanilla Skyrim parts, world and character models, lighting, combat, and especially animations are looking so clunky it hurts the eye. Plastic to dimensional movement, choppy attack animations, the infamous ice skating, and several other ground-based animation issues you all are aware about. Animations-wise, Skyrim feels like a game from a stone age. Not anymore. From this probably the most requested video on my channel in the last two years, you will see a mod list to not just improve, but truly remaster and expand Skyrim Animation's arsenal to a such tremendous, modern-looking level you will not believe it's actually Skyrim. It is also an installation tutorial at the same time, listing all the required mods and libraries, as well as a list of mods ready to be played without any compatibility issues. Both mod lists and instructions are linked down below in the video description. Let's take a look. First of all, before starting this list, make sure to implement the stability section of my modding guide. This is a crucial step that will ensure the general stability of your modded game, core bug fixes and such. Now to the animation core. You will need Nemesis, Dynamic Animation Replacer, XP MSE, Animation Motion Revolution and a Payload Interpreter. The first two mods are needed for, without exaggeration, nearly every modern animation mod to function, and the three latter ones are also needed for the sum of the mods in this list. Install them all, and some of the extra instructions are provided in the mod list document. The True Directional Movement is the revolutionary movement mod that overhauls the third-person gameplay similarly to the modern action RPGs. Move and attack in any direction. Simple yet incredible as that. On top of this core feature, TDM also includes a custom target lock component, animated target reticle widget, target head tracking, epic enemies and boss health bars, projectile aim support during target locking, this also supports magic, mount support and more. It is also fully customizable through MCM. Underdog is the next generation of movement animations walking, running, sprinting, sneaking and much more, not just the animation themselves, are way more smooth than any other similar ones you've seen before, they are also conditional. Your character will walk in a more swaggy, relaxed way when having high skill in armor usage, sneak like actual thief or even crawl in the grass, look around with different animations when having a torch equipped, have different injured animations depending on how low the health is, and even have different falling animations depending on armor related perks. There are also various optionals like the aerial kicks, animated jumps into the water and others. Skyrim is not only land mass, but also a lot of water mass and water related animations is important too. Dynamic Swimming mod changes the swimming animation depending on the stamina level, armor weight and even has a special swimming animation for Argonians. And the Weight in Water mod makes water slow actors down, both NPCs and yourself, depending on how much of them is submerged. While seemingly inconsequential detail, this is highly immersive and can be a difference between, let's say, a dodge and a Skyrim Space Program membership. Now to some immersive animation additions that are not directly movement or combat related but should have always existed in the game to begin with. EVG Conditional Idols mod adds, surprise, conditional idol animations depending on the situation, called idols when inside a blizzard, covering your head with a shield during rain, injured and stretching animations, and fatigue exhaustion idols when on the low health, magicka and stamina. Immersive interactions will go even further and adds brand new, simple and immersive interaction animations for actions that previously didn't have them to begin with. Chopping wood, looting enemies and containers, lockpicking and stealing, harvesting plants and opening doors, petting animals and applauding to birds, saluting to jarls and hugging your followers, and just so many more. Both mods are fully configurably in MCM, so you can disable certain animations you don't like or feel annoying, let's say. 
Conditional Expressions stands for its name too, adding subtle face animations that will bring more life into a character depending on conditions, when it's cold, when character is injured or sneaking and so on. And of course, it plays even better together with the moss above, creating a perfect synergy. The polishing move here is to add small but immersive animation mods by Alter the Cyclist, which are adding new, for instance, armor, clothing and jewelry, equipping and unequipping animations for your character and optionally NPCs. Look around idols for NPCs searching for the player or improving existing ones, like more realistic animations for the undeads. Now let's proceed to most practical and gameplay important part combat animations and related mechanics. The worst in Skyrim combat is everything. How boring it is, how two-dimensional it is despite being a three-dimensional game, how clunky are the animations, how terrible are collisions, how missing out are all possible modern games, secondary combat mechanics like the hit stop and such, making it even more boring. Time to change that once and for all. The combination of three mods, Modern Combat Overhaul, Skyrim Combat's AI Revolution and Precision mods do just that. MCO removes the infamous ice skating issue and makes it possible of not just vastly improved smooth animations, but also attack combos and chains, same as in modern ARPGs. Scar mod makes it so NPCs can also use the same animations and combos and precision mods adds actually correct collision markers for weapons. So the actual weapon reach now depends on weapon real size. Double-edged twin blades would make double hits, dual-wielded enchanted weapons will properly apply enchanted effects and so on. It also introduces features like heat stop, recoil, weapon trails, heat reactions and some other combat immersion features, everything being fully configurable in MCM. Most importantly, MCO itself is not just a mod, but rather a base, allowing next generation of combat animation mods for different weapons and even different swing animations for same weapon types but for different races. I will not name and showcase every single mod in the video as it will take just too much time, but we will link absolutely every single one of them in the mod list down below. Now to add brand new weapons with brand new animations for them. Animated Armory mod adds rapiers, spikes, quarter staves, claws, whips and katanas to the game. Every weapon type with own unique animation. This said, the mod would look inconsistent a bit with its default animations while you already have MCO, so we will install the version of it tweaked for MCO and not required but still pretty much recommended, also its version without whips, which is arguably the pretty wonky part of it. You will also find some MCO based mods that will change these mod weapon animations further. Now of course the dodging, which is an essential part of every action RPG and thanks to the mods now part of Skyrim too. The ultimate dodge mod is the best option to go with as it's fully compatible with the mods above, super smooth, does not depend on FPS like some other dodge mods and allows 8 directional dodging. It also has plenty of dodge animation replacers available if you will want to change the default ones. In the mod list, you will find not only link to the mod itself, but also for some improvements and optional patches for it, for mods you may have in your setup. The last addition is a tiny but highly satisfying and importantly performance improving mod called Hellblade Time Block, which swaps the clunky one second scripted time block mechanics to a classy, behavior based, better animated mechanic with improved visual effects and the sound to boost your blocking immersion and script's performance. Maybe you thought I will forget about magic and shouting? Hell no! Goethe Animations, magic spell casting, adds over a hundred of animations for everything spell casting related. This includes the idle walk, run and sprint while wielding spells, the spell equip, swap and unequip with single or both hands, all the idols and movements while aiming any spell, and of course casting any spell with any hand configuration including the master spells. Basically, this mod alone is a complete next-generation magic animation overhaul. 
To improve this even further, the Goetia Animations Enchanted Staves mod will overhaul all possible animations and idols related to the staves, including the hybrid playstyles like the Staff and Spell or Staff and Melee Weapon. And as a final piece, Goetia Animations Conditional Shouts adds a variety of new shouting animations to completely replace vanilla ones and dynamically switch between them depending on the equipped shouts effect and level. Just look yourself and finally feel like a real tomb master. Of course, let's not forget about archery and sneak animations for both melee and magic, as well as some of the new mechanics. Animation improvements here are most likely the most subtle and sometimes hard to notice at the first glance, but after a few hours of playing, you will notice how much more enjoyable your archer or assassin gameplay became. On top of this, there is a revolutionary Book of Shadows mod that adds a behavior-based sneak mechanics, fully animated masks, smoke bombs, war horns to notify allies for both city guards and bandits, and sneaking takedowns. Not less than a future of a sneak gameplay. All needed mods are listed down below. On top of this, if you also prefer to switch to first-person gameplay from time to time, I have already made a video covering modded first-person gameplay, including related animation mods. You can watch this video too if curious. Lastly, I have linked a few more mods, either small animation mods or not technically an animation, but a well complementary mods for this mod list, after the main list. That's all for now folks, and I hope you liked this video. Enjoy your remastered animations in the most moddable game of all times. Don't forget to hit that bell button to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. Stay tuned, stay safe and stay happy. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.